The Dusk Veil is a hidden boss you can encounter in the secret area of Purple Cloud Mountain during Chapter 4. You'll find this formidable foe at Cloud Nest Peak. It's highly advisable to take down the Scorpion Lord and Taoist Mi before engaging the Dusk Veil, as starting this battle will cause them to vanish from the area, preventing you from claiming their rewards. The Dusk Veil's attacks are notably slow, which makes them easier to read and dodge. A smart tactic is to strike a few times and then evade its attacks as they come. Spells can also be effective for dealing extra damage. In its second phase, the Dusk Veil has a special aerial move where it levitates and sends a barrage of spikes your way. When you see it lift off the ground, be sure to run around to avoid the spikes until the attack is over. Another attack to watch for in this phase involves the Dusk Veil jumping up, slamming a giant sword into the ground, and then stomping on it creating a wide area of damage. As soon as you see the sword land, back away quickly and wait for the attack to conclude. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
all these years apart. And they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mount Lee to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. How did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Gwai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude. No one knows whether they lead to wheel or woe. 